today i'm going to take a topic on manual testing so let's start manual testing manual testing means testing the application manually manually means without any automation intervention that means if i want to test an application there will not be any tools used and we will test the application manually now in manual testing the first topic what we will learn is sdlc sdlc software development life cycle so what is software development life cycle we are going to learn in this topic sdlc is a step by step procedure to develop a software so step by step procedure to develop a software in sdlc the first thing comes is a requirement and this requirement is given by the customers this requirement is given by the customers the requirement it is the need of the customer in the form of a document requirement it is the need of the customer in the form of a document now document means what it can be pdf format it can be excel format it can be word document so this requirement would be given in this three formats it can be pdf it can be excel it can be word and what is a requirement it is the need of the customers we call customers as clients also we call customers as client also so this requirement is given by the customer or client and requirement it is the need of the customer in the form of a document once we get the requirement once we get the requirement then to develop a software to develop a software the next thing will be the feasibility study that means the software what we are going to develop is it feasible feasible means is it doable or not now these requirements are brought by a person called as business analyst now these requirements are brought by a person called as business analyst now this person business analyst goes to the customers and collects the requirement so he goes to the customers this business analyst and he collects the requirement from the customers and bring it back to the company bring it back to the company so this person business analyst is going to the customers bringing the requirement back to the company now as we have got the requirement for an example we want to uh, develop an application like facebook gmail etc so now the next thing will be whether we are in a condition to develop the software or not whether we are feasible whether we are doable or not so to go to the next step the next step is feasibility study now if i go to the next step from requirement to feasibility study now feasibility study will be done based on some factors factors in the sense if i want to develop a application i will see something called as cost something called as time something called as technical aspects okay cost time technical aspects and resources so these are the four factors based on which feasibility study will be done cost means what am i getting benefit to develop this application or no see if customer is telling to develop a application in 10 lakh rupees so am i getting a benefit of 20 lakh rupees or no so that will come under cost next is time he is telling to develop the application in 6 months so i will think according to the customer perspective so that i can develop the software within 6 month or that will come under time next is the technical aspects technical aspects means the programming language like java like dotnet so these kind of softwares like java like 
dot net or any other programming language softwares and all i am having or not so that will come under technical aspects and last is the resources resources means the number of test engineers the number of developers the number of designers we are having or not so these four factors will tell that is the software which we are going to develop is it feasible that is doable or not so it is based on how many factors four factors cost time resources and technical aspects cost means i am i getting benefit or not time means within that time i can develop the software or not technical aspects means i am having the adequate softwares like java dot net and php etc or not and last is the resources that means i am having the adequate resources or not based on these four factors we decide that the application is going to be developed or is it is not going to be developed so these are the two steps first is the requirement and feasibility study and in next step we we'll learn in the next video so thank you for watching thank you